There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi guys, welcome to day three. And today you've been learning about competition analysis and you've seen what is literally groundbreaking new analysis software inside Market Samurai, which is totally cool. But you know what? Reliance on any piece of software, even a piece of software as cool as Market Samurai, is just crazy. You know, things happen, things change. So it's important for me to show you how to get access to that information that's contained, that's contained in Market Samurai. And while it's certainly not as pretty and not as easy and not as quick, it's still very, very possible. And so, it, and you may have a computer that for some reason won't run Market Samurai. There's, there could be any number of you know, individual little problems. So we didn't want to leave, you know, leave no person behind. That's our motto here. And so we wanted to be able to show you exactly how to get that same information and ana analyze it just like uh, Guru Bob has just been uh, uh, showing you in the previous video. So let's go and have a look at an extension, which I suggested you downloaded in pre-season. But if you haven't done that yet, I'm going to show you where to do it. And then I'm going to show you how to use it so you can get all this information. I'm not going to go into the analysis because the analysis is exactly the same. The criteria is the same. It's just the way you get access to it. So let's go and we'll see exactly what we need to do. Okay, first let's get this extension and make sure it's in your brain. Now, if you've followed along in pre-season, you'll probably already have this extension. The way to tell is do you have this little SEO like on now it may either be in color like that which means it's turned on or it may be turned off like that doesn't matter but if you've got that logo you can ignore the next couple of minutes if you haven't then we need to download the file so this is the URL up here that you need to go to so I want you to go to that type in that URL and then I want you to go and follow the instructions here. You can see here there's a click here to install the Firefox extension. Uh, now, of course, it's called SEO for Firefox. We're recommending using Flock for the 30 day challenge. It'll work in Firefox, it'll work in Flock. So it's up to you which way you want to go. And you can click install now. I'm not going to because I've already got it installed. Uh, but you just follow along with that extensions process. If you're concerned, remember in pre-season, there's a specific lesson called installing add-ons. And I take you through the entire process for doing it. So just go and have a look at that lesson if you feel you're getting stuck with this. So, great. We've now installed our SEO for Firefox. What I want you to do, and again, this may look slightly different on a PC to a Mac, it'll uh, work in sort of the different ways, but what I want you to do is click on the add-ons. Now, I believe you might have to go to a different spot on the Windows uh, PC to do that. So here we are. And we're gonna find SEO for Firefox. We're gonna highlight it. And then, and you can do this for all of your extensions. It's actually very interesting to do. We just wanna have a look at our preferences. And you can see here, we've got the toggle to enable, disable, which is good. Enable, disable, no follow link highlighting. Now, you don't really need to worry about what no follow links are. Uh, for those of you who are a bit more experienced in uh, search engine optimization, that's a handy little feature. Um, you may have noticed already, if you've actually installed this extension, that you see a lot of the URLs that are actually highlighted in red. That's to show that they are what they, what is referred to as no follow links. As far as we're concerned at this point in time, there's just no need to worry about it, okay? In fact, there's a whole school of thought that you don't need to worry about it full stop anyway, but that's not for now. So don't even worry about that. In fact, if it's a bother, just turn that off so you don't get the red links. In fact, that's probably the best way to go. Now here, you can see all, this is all the data and you'll be familiar with all of this data. You can actually set it to be automatic or on demand or indeed you can hide the data if you're not interested in it and you can see where I highlight over things you'll see there's a window which describes each of these I personally have it on demand and the reason I have it on demand is if you're doing a lot of it all at the one time 
Google may decide to give you a temporary timeout, and or they might get you to put in you know one of those capture forms. You know where you have to type those squiggly letters which look really funny and weird. They may do that to you as well. So I prefer to use this only on demand myself personally, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. So once we're all good there, close that off. We can close our add-on screens, and then we have to do our search. So let's use, again, our key phrase that we're using for demonstration purposes. Can't tell that there's a slight bias. <laughs> and let's have a look at our vintage electric guitar search. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this from Australia. So this is what the results look like in Australia. Interestingly, if you followed along with pre-season, and I'll just show you this quickly, if you installed the glue... Ugh, Google Global extension, which we showed you how to install in pre-season. Again, it's all in the pre-season lessons on add-ons, installing add-ons. You can see, and this is really handy for people outside of the United States, I choose USA, and it'll give me another link, which gives me the USA results. Now, you'll notice that in Australia, there's only two ads on this side. In the United States, there's these ads here. Want to see something even cooler? If I search Google Global and choose San Francisco, and you can set this up to be any, um, you know, any city that you want in the United States. Uh, just having a look there. No, there's nobody really optimized, which is why this is such a great phrase because nobody's optimized it for any of these things. So, okay. Anyway, let's uh, just a slightly distracted. I'm going to get letters. I'm going to get email. When does he get to the point? He never gets to the point. It's all gold, though, people. It's all gold. Okay, this is our normal USA uh, look here. Um, and here we are, you've got your normal results, okay? Now, let's turn on our SEO results so we can start getting data. So I go down to the bottom of the screen here and click Toggle. Now, I'm going to have to search again and refresh that. Boom. Okay, now we're talking. It's all a little bit different now. Let's have a look. You can see here now we've got all this information under the, the numbered listings. See, one, two, three, four. Um, and you can see all the data, all those data points that we use to perform competitive analysis are all available here. And for example, if I wanted to see what the PR is of this particular site, I can click there and it said click here to fetch. And you can see here it's a PR of four. How old's this uh, particular? site and domain let's have a look down did I click there yes I did uh, undetermined in that particular case uh, what else can we have uh, people in blog lines is there any information in blog lines no so we can have a look and again Rob's taking you through why this is such a good phrase but you can get all the data to do the analysis so if you were comparing PR across a number of sites you could click through and get all the different PRs for the particular page. Rob's already gone through this. I'm not going to go through it in detail. He already did it in the previous video. So this is the way you manually go through and check out your phrases. You can see why Market Samurai is such a groundbreaking uh, piece of analysis tool because you've got it all in that beautiful chart and we've color coded it and to help you make your decisions much easier. But still this will work and this works great and it works absolutely fine. So there you have it, SEO for Firefox. You can again, if you don't want to use it for a while, if you're not doing research, you can toggle it off. And of course, if we research it again, boom, there you go, it's all gone. So there you have it, enjoy. I'm hoping that you sort of never have to use this, but if you do, it's there and it's available. We cover all the bases. That's what we're all about at the 30 Day Challenge. Leave no person behind. All right, folks, we'll see you on day four. There is no charge for awesomeness.